What kind of tips can you give to women on how to dress with their confidence and uh, how to feel empowered on dates? Like, what are some good fashion tips that you can give for women to, to boost their confidence? Well, one, I always be comfortable in what I want you to wear something that you're comfortable in. Mm -hmm. That's one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two, there's nothing. You can be sexy and covered. You don't have to have everything all out. Um, and again, I think it just depends on the person because there is there is some stuff that I just won't wear and I'll see it on somebody. And I'm like, oh, OK, it looks cute on her. But again, I think it just all depends on the person. But whatever you wear, be confident in it. Um, and then also, too, like, again, you can be sexy and covered. The most sexy you might do just a little cleave. You might do a little cleave or some fitted jeans show your shape. But. <clears throat> you want to your first impression you you know you want to make a good first impression mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then on top of that too i think about you know if i'm out with somebody and i got on my butt is hanging out some shorts and you know they just like ah, that's what, you know what i'm saying now if we been dating for seven eight months in the summertime and i'm wearing shorts that's a different story you know what i'm saying right. but first dates we want to make sure that we show them hey we the one mm -hmm. we it okay we come mm -hmm. we didn't come to play <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. I get it because uh, you can see some people, like you say, the the, the first day you want to leave an impression. And if we are yeah. together for a while, you know, we, we, you know, we connect it. So it's all good. Yeah. You can, you can. And then, uh, then also too, I, like I said, I just, if you need help and you have a friend who knows how to dress, you know, Reach out to them. Hey, friend, you know, can you help me out? This, you know, I have people, even some of my best friends, they'll send me pictures. Friend, how this look? How this, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I tell people, you're not going to go out with me looking any kind of way because I don't play that. Like, that's one, like, one, even if I'm running to the store, I'm not, I'm going to put my hair back in a ponytail. I'm going to look decent because you, like, my mother used to tell us, you don't know who knows who, well, who's your, who knows your parents or anybody. Then on top of that too, especially not not to glow, but with my following, I'm out and people be like, oh, that's how she look. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and <laughs> it ain't, I might not have makeup on all the time, but I'm gonna look like I showered and you know, I'm not gonna have a scarf and some house shoes on, like uh, don't even get me started. But yes. <laughs> no, that's a whole conversation. I, I heard listen, <laughs> listen, I see it every day on the planes. You know, don't even get me started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my uh, my old pastor in in Cleveland, Ohio. He said you done missed out on your husband because you got on SpongeBob pajama pants or in a bonnet. In a bonnet. <laughs> like, come on now. And I and, and I just even as grown adults and like I try to try to put that tell my daughter the same thing. <clears throat> don't be out here with no scarf on your head doing all that stuff because you don't know who knows me. Like, come on now. And it ain't even like I said. You don't have to be dialed up, but look presentable mm -hmm. let's just look presentable that's all yeah yeah <laughs> because there's some guys who are actually intimidated when a woman is looking nice i, I agree you, yeah right like if she's at the grocery store i mean you're gonna be picking up a couple of items and you know you're not wearing you know your your, your greatest outfit but you're looking nice you're looking presentable and some guys, they like, oh, man, she she might be a little too fine or she might be a little too confident or because uh, I hear a lot of women say when I'm dressed up, nobody approaches me. But when I got on my my sweats, guys coming out the woodwork. Well, it seems it, it seems as if nowadays men, <clears throat> excuse me, men are loving the more natural look I'm I'm, I'm hearing I'm been hearing from me and they're like in the more natural look which is cool which is fine um the people the men that i don't really care for are the ones that you don't even need to wear makeup you don't have to wear makeup well i don't wear makeup for other people i wear makeup because i like makeup you know what i'm saying like but anyways um but yeah it's like men are starting to like the more natural look i mean i've got hit on both ways so i think it's just all depends on you know where you at and who you know who the person is yeah <laughs> You Sierra, it's like, you know, people going to come. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of uh, talked about this a little bit, and I want to talk about this in detail. So do you believe certain outfits can send a specific message in a dating context? Oh, for sure. 
Mm. Oh, for sure. I really, really, I, oh, for sure. Like, again, to each his own, mm -hmm. there's just some stuff that, I, especially like, I okay, from home, I follow a lot of pages that, um, you know, lounges and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the pictures that I be seeing from some of them, I be like, this is what y'all wear? I mean, because it looks cheap. You know, some of the stuff looks cheap. And that's the thing, like, I think, again, it depends on the person and how they put it together. But there is just some stuff I just will not wear because I don't even want to give off that kind of, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't want to give that kind of vibe off as if I'm easy going and from this. Like, mm -mm. so, yes, I really do think some of the stuff and how you dress. Um, but again, I, uh, you don't you can be sexy. And, you know, I think a lot of times these women, they're like, well, which I'm all for. Women and you know, really being open and free and just you know, yeah. dressing how they want to dress. I'm not trying to tell nobody mm -hmm. how to dress, but I do feel like some stuff because there are women who are half naked and they're just so confident and they're like, I'm not doing this for the men, I do this because this is my page, this is this, and I'm just like, okay, well, go ahead, girl, do your thing. But the biggest thing for me on my page mm -hmm. and for how I dress, I can only speak for Sierra Levine, how I dress and how I maneuver on my page is I don't ever want to give off that uh, that kind of negative, excuse me, whorish vibe. Mm -hmm. Like that's just not what I, cause that's just not me. Yeah. Like when people come to my page, regardless if I might shake a tail feather, do a little something, whatever, but I don't want you like, oh, she, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to get off that vibe. Yeah. I love for people. I love that's why a lot of times when I'm doing my reels, you know, you see I'm putting outfits together. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of reels doing that. I'm working with different brands because I'm, you know, whatever. But there I'm just showing different ways of how you can put outfits together or what you can wear. And a lot of the stuff too, even with shorts or skirts or whatever, I feel like I still look cute and sexy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With my skirt on or with my whatever. So yeah, mm -mm, I don't ever want to get off give off that vibe of Oh, she's easy because I'm not. Yeah, because I was going to say, because and tell me what you think about this. OK, sometimes uh, shoot, most of the times men see women dress a certain way. And again, there's no disrespect. However, you dress is how you dress. But from a man's perspective, a lot of times he's going to be like, oh, let me slide in the DM. You know, and, and, you know, she she went. And, and I don't she, exactly. And that's the thing, like. I don't ever want to give off that vibe of, as if I'm easy or I'm one of them because I'm not yeah. like that's just not me. And I think, you know, when people have conversations with me, because I'm really blunt, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really blunt. So and I'm real. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you I'm a straight shooter. So I'm going to tell you. But when people have the conversation, they be like, oh, OK, yeah. And I've had men tell me you are intimidating. You are intimidating, which I don't try to be. But it's just that, you know, to me, I feel like when you get to a certain age, you know what you want. You know, all the small talking, I ain't even going to do it with you, bro. A lot of times, these men come to my inbox, what do you want? <laughs> hey, how you doing, beautiful? What do you want? <laughs> so they just, they just, hey, beautiful you? That's all, that's all they do? I, oh, no. You'll be surprised at the stuff that I get. I can't even say it on this thing when I be getting but. <laughs> You be surprised at the stuff that come in my inbox, but yes, but it's just no, 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 no. Uh -uh. no. I don't ever want to give off that vibe though. So yeah, I hear you. How do you feel about when when women say uh, he shouldn't look at me like that? He need to have more respect for himself, or why is he staring at me? Like, like, like how do you, you talking about uh? A woman talking about a man staring at her. Yeah, or you know, he I can wear what I want to. So, and as I, I'm just using that as an example, you know, say her butt is halfway hanging out, you know, and she's uh -huh. like, "Why are you looking at me?" You know that whole thing. Like, I mean, well, sis, <laughs> your butt is hanging out. I mean, I will be looking at you. Too. I'm gonna look at you too, like girl. <laughs> you know, but um. I hear a lot of women say that, and I get where they're coming from, but I, I just wanted to hear from your perspective. I just feel like, at the end of the day, men going to be men. You have some men who are just creepy nasty. Mm -hmm. You got some men who are respectful. I mean, and then I just feel like it's just, some men are just, they're just, you know, they're just going to be men. Mm -hmm. Um, And especially, don't be a really pretty, beautiful lady. You got a nice shape. Yeah. You know, it's they're going to definitely do the most, but... Mm -hmm. 
again, I feel like, and I hate to say this because I don't want to be that person, but how you dress sometimes, you it, it will bring that attention. And it's just, and it just is what it is. And some women like the attention. Some women enjoy it. Then you have some women that are just like, nah, I'm good, you know, whatever. But again, how you dress, that that's all plays a part of how you are received and, you know, people's perspective, perception, perception <laughs> of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what do you think, what is the percentage of, let's just say, women who might dress a certain way for attention opposed to those who dress just because they they worked hard for their body. What do you think is the percentage of women who dress for just for their attention? Like, what is that percentage? Is, do you think it's dress like, just for the 40? attention? Yeah. See, you give me a hard question. <laughs> uh, You're a straight I mean, shooter, so. I know, but. I got some some of my my girls. I know for sure they. I mean, they be online showing it up, and I know they're really confident, and they really don't be really studying the men. But it's like I would say, okay, ask me the question one more time. Let me ask me the question one more time. Yes. So, what percentage do you believe that women dress for, for them? attention? Like, oh, what for what, is, what is the percentage opposed to women who dress? for uh just because they're they're confident they're not looking for the attention maybe they just work hard in the gym and you know what 